Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having a great day. Thanks for clicking on this video. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit that little bell notification so you get notified when all my new videos come out. I've got a lot of other car care and DIY repair videos on the channel that I think might be of some value to you. All right, so let's jump right into the video. As you saw from the thumbnail, I'm gonna be doing a spark plug change on my 2004 GMC Envoy. So for that, let me show you the tools I'm gonna to use. All right, so here's the tools I'm gonna to be using to do my spark plug replacement. As you can see, it's just a simple set of tools here. I've got a flathead screwdriver, just my 3 8 and quarter inch drive ratchet, and just some assorted extensions for both of these ratchets. I also have a, a swivel connection here as well as, uh, what size is this? 5 8 inch socket uh, for the spark plugs. And then of course the spark plugs themselves. What I'm using for my spark plug job are these AC Delco 41103 spark plugs. Of course they are the Iridium spark plugs and the ones that GM recommends for this vehicle. So there's a list and just an outlay of the tools I'm gonna to be using. Let's jump right in and get started with the spark plug change. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is take off these two clamps. There's one here on the passenger side and then also one on the driver's side of this resonator. This passenger side just holds this tubing. So once that's loose then, just slide that guy right off. Then you're going to come over here on the driver's side and just take this clamp off where the, uh, the resonator attaches to the throttle body. Okay, that's step one. Now, once you're done with that, there are two 10, mil 10 millimeter bolts on the passenger side. You got one here towards the front, and then one kind of hiding back behind here that you're gonna want some extensions on to remove that one. So let's do that next. And the only other thing you'll need to disconnect, right here at the back of the resonator, there's a little clip that holds this wire harness on. So you just take your screwdriver, pop that off, and then take this little wiring harness right out of that clip there. Now you're ready to take this resonator off and actually get to the spark plugs on top of the motor. And just two small little things before you pull the actual resonator off. There's a little vacuum line on the driver's side that you'll just want to remove. And then also underneath, there's a uh, crankcase ventilation hose. Uh, I don't know if you can see it on the video here. It's right here. You'll see it when we take the resonator off. But there, that's just a uh, basically a friction connection. So when you pull the resonator up, you'll just go straight up with it, and then that thing will disconnect on its own. Alright, so now that we've got the resonator off, you've got access to all of your spark plug coils. And at this time, it would be a good time, if you wanted to, to take your throttle body off to do a cleaning on that. I'm not going to do it on this one. I've, I've done it probably within the past few months or so. But if you were going to do that, uh, you simply have four bolts um, that hold this on to the intake here. And then you also have this connection and then also this electrical connector here at the top of the throttle body, you would just take these two off and then pull it off, spray it with some throttle body cleaner, put it back on, and you're good to go. All right, so as you can see, five of the six spark plugs are accessible, or the bolts that actually hold the spark plug coils into the engine are accessible, except for this one at the very front. You've got a wiring harness protective case thing here that runs across the front of the engine and to get to that all you do is just take your flathead screwdriver there are clips you know every so often here just pop those off and remove this plastic cover and then you'll notice on the inside there's these funky clips here that are holding this whole thing to the top of the motor and uh, the, you know what I found is I, I guess you could kind of force these things out you know pull them out but I feel like you'd risk breaking these so what I've done in the past and what I'm gonna do here is you know these things are kind of uh, 
almost like corkscrewed, you know, so you can turn these things and then kind of unscrew the clips from the top of this um, little plastic channel. So that's what I'm going to do right now. All right, guys, so now that I've got this plastic tray removed, I'm done from these two plastic clips. I've got enough room here just to pull this up out of the way so I can access this hole on spark plug, I mean the, uh, the bolt on spark plug number one right here. All right, so now that I've got everything out of the way, go ahead and just start taking these bolts out. All right, now that all six bolts are out of the ignition coils, you can simply just pop these guys out, take a look at the bottom here, just look for any signs of oil or anything that may indicate your uh, valve cover seals are, are starting to fail on you. Um, but I don't see anything on mine, of course, if you remember back, oh gosh, what was it, two years ago now, I tore this whole engine down, um, just about, anyway, and um, had to replace the gasket on the valve cover here when I did that job, so I don't see any oil um, down in the spark plug wells. I'm just going to go ahead and take all of these out. Now we can just go ahead and use our 5 8 inch um, socket for the spark plugs and just remove all six spark plugs. All right, thank you. <laughs> all right, so I got all six spark plugs out, and I've got them laid here next to the new ones. So I just wanted to take a close look here just to compare the new versus the old. Daddy, here's the new marker. All right, dude. All right, so now that we've got all six old spark plugs removed, I'm going to go ahead and put the new ones back in. Now that all the new spark plugs are in, all we have to do is put the ignition coils back on, tighten those down, and then connect these few connections that we took off, get this plastic tray wiring harness thing back in place, put the resonator back on, and we're all set to go. Now just one little tip here, I will, I will say that um, one time before when I was changing these spark plugs, I did accidentally not tighten these, um, tighten one of these ignition coils down all the way. Um, matter of fact, I, it, I tightened it down, I thought it was tightened down, but it was actually not seated on the plug all the way. And as soon as I started the car, um, of course the car was running rough and it was just a quick fix of tightening the uh, ignition coil back and making sure it was you know seated properly on the spark plug but when you're doing these just make sure that you get get some, uh, good contact make sure the ignition coils are seated properly on the spark plugs when you install them all right so now that i got the ignition coils in they're plugged in i got this wiring harness tray and a little plastic cover snap back on i'll just go ahead and put the uh, air resonator back on Just get your hoses, your hose clamps tightened down. Then we'll just put these two 10 millimeter bolts back in the resonator. Don't forget to put your little wiring harness back in this clip. And just do a once over to make sure everything is where it's supposed to be when you're finished. Again, this little uh, vacuum hose line is connected on the driver's side of the resonator. Your hoses are connected. All these electrical connections are good. And your harnesses uh, or this wire loom is back in the clip. And, um, you know, just make sure you don't leave any tools laying all over the place. 
All right, guys, so now that we've got all of the spark plugs changed out, we've got everything put back together, let me share with you one final tip here that I have found immensely helpful as I've worked on my cars over the years. Now, you guys may already do this. That's awesome. I think it's a great idea. It's a little trick I picked up from my father a long time ago, but that is to have one of these in your car with you. This is my little green book. This is my maintenance log book that I keep um, just as it says, I keep a log of all of my maintenance that I've done on this car over the years, you know, since I bought the car. So I've already gone ahead and um, made an entry in here for these spark plugs that we just changed out. I've got on the odometer 243,000 miles. That's actually not a true odometer reading. And I talk about that in a previous video that I made about, you know, will my car reach 300,000 miles? So this odometer is actually about 50,000 miles more than what it shows. And go check out that video for the explanation why. So guys, thanks again for checking out the video. Thank you for stopping by the channel. I really hope you found it helpful and useful and valuable. If you did, be sure to hit a thumbs up, leave a like, leave a comment. And if you hadn't done so already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I really do appreciate your support. Guys, as always, thank you again, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.